Hello, my name is Alexia Hudson Ward. I'm Associate Librarian at Penn State Abington College, a member of the American Library Association's Executive Board, and I'm also the Pennsylvania Library Association's Chapter Counselor to the American Library Association. I'm excited to share with you an outstanding classic work in honor of Banned Books Week. The book is entitled Beloved and it is written by the legendary Toni Morrison. I was actually introduced to this book in high school and I had an amazing teacher that taught the book as an American horror story. I really do believe that if you look at it in that context that you will really understand and experience the depth and the richness of this particular work. The story centers around a woman by the name of Setha who experiences unimaginable and unspeakable atrocities while she was enslaved. As a result, she decides to murder her infant daughter. Years later, after the family is emancipated from slavery, that baby girl who was murdered comes back and actually haunts the family. The child's name is Beloved. So I'm actually going to read an excerpt of Beloved to you from my tablet. So this is not just my iridescent glow. This is actually the glow from my tablet because I was too embarrassed to share with you my first edition that I got back in 1987, 1988. And then I'll share a little bit more with you around the history of Beloved being a banned book. Counting on the stillness of her own soul, she had forgotten the other one, the soul of her baby girl. Who would have thought that a little old baby could harbor so much rage? Running among the stones under the eyes of the engraver's son was not enough. Not only did she have to live out her years in a house posed by the baby's fury at having its throat cut, but those ten minutes she spent pressed up against the dawn-colored stones, studded with star chips, her knees wide open as the grave, were longer than life, more alive, more pulsating than the baby's blood that soaked her fingers like oil. We could move, she suggested once to her mother-in-law. What be the point, asked Baby Shugs. Not a house in this country ain't packed to the rafters with some dead Negro's grief. We lucky this ghost is a baby. My husband's spirit was to come back in here, or yours. Don't talk to me. You lucky. You got three left. Three pulling at your skirts and just one raising hell from the other side. Be thankful, why don't you? I had eight, and every one of them gone away from me. Four taken, four chased, and all I expect worrying someone's house into evil, baby shugs rubbed her eyebrows. My firstborn, all I can remember of her is how she loved the burnt bottom of bread. Can you beat that? Eight children, and that's all I can remember. That's all you let yourself remember, Setha had told her. But she was down to one herself, one alive, that is, and the boys chased off by the dead one, and her memory of burglar was fading fast. Howard, at least, had a head shape like nobody could forget. As for the rest, she worked hard to remember as close to nothing as was safe. Unfortunately, her brain was devious. She might be hurrying across a field, running practically to get to the pump quickly and rinse the chamomile sap from her legs. Nothing else would be in her mind. The picture of the men coming to nurse her was as lifeless as the nerves on her back where her skin buckled like a washboard. Nor was there the faintest scent of ink or cherry gum and the arc bark from which that she it was made. Nothing. Just the breeze cooling her face as she rushed towards the water. And then sopping the chamomile away with the pump water and rags, her mind fixed on getting every little bit of sap off and of her carelessness in taking a shortcut across the field just to save a half mile and not noticing how high the weeds had grown until the itching was all the way to her knees. Then something, the plash of water, the sight of her shoes and stockings awry on the path where she had flung them, or here boy lapping in the puddle near her feet, and suddenly there was sweet home rolling, rolling, rolling out before her eyes. And although there was not a leaf on that farm that didn't want to make her scream, it rolled itself out before her in shameless beauty. It never looked as terrible as it was, and it made her wonder if hell was a pretty place too. Interestingly, Beloved is one of our top 100 banned books. It is typically challenged every year, and it is also one of the top books banned by an author who is African American. I hope that you will take the time to celebrate the freedom to read during this period and all year as we commemorate and honor Banned Books Week. Thank you.